What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are out here on Lake Okeechobee alligator hunting. I have my dad out here. He's the lucky one that pulled tags in order for us to come out here and alligator hunt. I have my friend Tyler and Parker and they are going to hopefully put us on a big alligator. Now, I don't care what size the alligator is. I'm just happy to be out here and fingers crossed to get an alligator. We can get a total of two alligators today, but right now we are looking through the binoculars to see if we can see any gators on the surface of the water. Um, you can tell the size of alligators on the surface of the water. The smaller gators will show more of their body so they look bigger in the water, and a lot of times the bigger alligators will show less of their head to try to make themselves look smaller in the water. So right now we're just looking for gators, and you guys are going to find out when we do. So we'll see you guys out on the lake. That's good though. <laughs> I was literally about to come out. We'll do the next pass. Good looks, Pops. Yeah. So this gator went down. We've been looking for him for probably about 15, 20 minutes. And we're all just talking and my dad's like, oh, there he is. He popped up right in the middle of this channel right here. But he's swimming, he's moving around. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit ah, tricky. Sometimes you have to just wait just a little bit on these guys just like that one yeah so now that we know he's still hanging out here i mean heck they can't go far they can only go this way or that way he's swimming though that's the problem yeah if they were going to the bottom we would be able to mm -hmm. Not on that path. yeah there's another alligator right out there something interesting it's on 20 feet out a little further back that was a good one though. Is definitely the one we were. We might have to go dead boat on this one. For a that's minute. what I was. Go over here in the grass. No, the one just popped up. Two. Mm-hmm. Well, good sign is we're seeing a lots of alligators. Get a good hook set. Oh, right over his back. Yeah, got him. All right, stay tight. Come on. That was it. He went out right hard. I know. I'm like waiting for him to pop back up again. You're good. Cast one more time just to see. No, uh, that was it. Yeah. I don't know why he disconnected. So as you guys saw, Parker went right over his back, hooked into him, but unfortunately the gator blew out, freaked out, and the hook came out. It happens. The gator, gators have super, super, super tough skin, so sometimes it's hard to penetrate that hook into them. But that's all part of it. Hey, we got some action in the morning. There's plenty of gators here. Yeah, that was a good one. In front of us. Hang right on, guys, watch out. There he is, there he is. He just went under. Yeah, oh, he just swirled. So right here, it's about three feet on the bank and then it drops down to 17 foot. So it's really hard to snatch hook them here because if they get super deep, they're kind of out of luck. Feel uh, smart, you turn around. Just keep your eye out to the left and the side. Mm -hmm. I'll keep my eye out on the side. Perfect first now. I just wish it would have stuck them. So now we're just trying to outsmart this alligator because he definitely knows that we're on to him. 110%. So he's right by that bush. Give me a drop you right there. Uh, we're shallow enough. Yeah, I'm 5'8 right now. That's what I'm saying. So. Try to scan him. Yeah. So I got, we got <laughs> bubbles right I was gonna here. say, there's bubbles right there. That's what I'm saying. It's shallow enough. We might be able to find this guy the correct way. This might have been him right here. Yeah, I think it probably is. Yeah, that's him, Tyler. He's right there. He's right there, Kelly. Toss on those bubbles. Yep, that's him. It's on bottom. 
Yep, for real nice and slow. Yeah, Round tip sure, down. Make sure it's all in the water. You feel anything tight like a rock, just set up as hard as you can. That's so cool. He's over there. Got him. That's him. Yeah, a little disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't like that. No. He was going for deeper water. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to break my stuff. <laughs> I have a new reel. Oh, this thing's brand new. I hope it doesn't break it. Not my last one. Oh, those hands are awful. Well, there he was. <laughs> there he was, and there he is. There he was. Is this thing recording? If it's flashing red, it's recording, right? Yeah, the screen goes to sleep. Okay, I was gonna say. Yeah, there you go. Noise. You took off pretty good. Uh, oh, y'all. Still see? have it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is like the easiest canal to find uh, find bubbles ever. <laughs> I was like. Yeah, I was expecting more bubbles, so I was, I was like, I see like two. Yeah, so I was like. They go straight down, and literally they move, they move a little, yeah. or they'll blow out a little bit out of their nose. I never cut this, this weight thing kind of like weight. It went like way to the right when I cast it. I was like, oh crap. Yeah. Yeah, he's just chilling on the surface, went down. Yeah, we'll take a look at him. See what then he got like. a poke in the butt. <laughs> we think. Uh, got a poke in the butt. This thing? Yep, I'm going slow as I can. I'm not wrenching on him hard. Let's say he's back out straight that way. You want me to cast another hook on him? Uh, we got, we're going to get vertical on him first. Okay. Y'all are running the show. Yeah, he's, he's just gonna stay tight right now and talk me to him. And then once we get vertical, we'll try to get another hook in him. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna throw while we're out here wild, because yes. if one rod hits the other rod, then the hook. Blow it down. we lose everything. Try to get out of here. Good job, Tyler. Got lucky. That was a good guy. I don't even know if that. I saw him pop up like way out. Yeah. He was... I see some bubbles out there. Kelly, Kelly spotted him. I was looking at a different one. Kelly. You see the bubbles right there, Tyler? Yeah. Is this one ready Let's to go? Get another hook in him. Come on. You're good. Grab a rod. Let's go. You got it, Parker. Let's just get another one in and then we can do whatever. All right. Where do you think you got your boat? Go, go that way. And now the fun is just starting. All right. You want to come get on one of these rods, Mr. Young? All right, Dad, you're up. First time gator hunter. Which one? This one here. Just stay tight with it. Just stay tight. I'm going to get a snatch out. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Parker. I'm going to be your coach. Kelly, you want to get those bubbles on tape right there, the blowout? Yeah. Uh, Tyler, can I get a light reverse, please? What do you need? Light reverse or vertical? Be ready for evasive Neutral. maneuvers running around the boat. Yeah, so if he decides he wants to go to the right, you guys run around the boat with him. Right. Yeah. He wants to go to the left and walk to the right. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah, he looks good. He's better than that one. So you're harpooning him? No, right now I'm snatching him. Okay. Snatch is going to make it easier to lift. Once we get a snatch in, we can maneuver him a little better. I say we might just go to lift this guy straight up and just pop him. Well, That's last hard. time we broke when we had freaking just two rods in, so I just want to make sure, you know, let's play it by ear. Make sure it's all good. Where are you guys at? Thing? Uh, all right. Bubbles. Let that big hook creep on the bottom. And he's going to, if he feels tension, he's going to ask, hey, do you feel me? And you're just going to have your finger kind of towards the line. And if you feel anything strange, like vibrations or anything weird on the line, you say, yeah, I feel you. And then he's going to come up and he's going to lift that hook vertical so he's not going to pull ours out. That was a negative. All right, maybe underneath. Yeah. Roll between our lines. No, no, no. no. no, un no it'll unhook him. Yeah, oh. that'll, be, that'll be a possible unbuttoning. Yeah. So he's going to do behind us now. And then the same thing. So we don't exactly know which way this gator is laying, so we're trying to figure that out. Oop, he's walking. Oh, you, yeah. you, you, you touched him. I just touched him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that. I'm just going to walk away now. 
Yep, yeah, just keep it nice and tight. Now we're just taking our wizard for a walk. Yep, I felt it move. That's a true story. So nice and easy. Just kind of stay up on him. He's not on the bottom yet, I don't think. I was going to say, let me know when he stops. Uh, he stopped. Look at, the, look at the bubbles behind him. Yeah, that's a good lizard. That's a good lizard. He's on a lot. Yeah, I was going to say, throw up towards his head. Yep. He's probably going to come up soon. He did not like me kissing him. Mm -mm. No, he didn't <laughs> like being touched. No. Kelly, you want to do a slight bump reverse? Yeah. Please? Got it. I feel like I hit him in the tail. Well, it is pretty. It's you 18. Me at all? It's 18 foot right here too. Ooh. All right. So one trouble came out. My dad is still hooked onto the gator. Be ready for evasive maneuvers, Parker. I need help. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I need you another hook in him or something. As soon as I get a shot at him, I will. You want me to hit reverse? No, stay. Okay. Freaking out. Yep, not a light reverse. It is the death one. All right, neutral. Yeah, he's not. He's rolling, isn't he? Yeah, he's rolling. All right, tell me when he's vertical. Right here. Coming up or? It's freaking out. Oh, Ooh. crap. This guy's going nuts. We're not in a good situation. I was going to say, you just want to give me that snatch and you get the target. Right here's the space. Here, get him, partner. Yep, hit him right there on the side. Anything plus him out. <laughs> we are so twisted up right oh now. Oh my gosh, this is not good. No, it's not. It's not happy. Slide reverse. Do you want to get the bigger rod? All right, right here. Oh. Oh, I'm going to the big rod. All right, he's yeah. pretty, pretty wound up. Oh, he is. Oh, watch the rod tip. Watch the rod tip. You just want to get dark? Get the bang stick ready. Are you going to bang him straight? Might as well. He's all tangled up, too. Tyler, where's the ammo? In the, whoop, in the orange bucket, like always. <laughs> well, well not a happy camper. He's not? <laughs> no, he's not. Oh, look at that tail. This will be Ooh. a good meat gator, and then we'll go trophy hunt. Still a good one. Tell alligator hunters and your big gators. <laughs> <laughs> well, we Let me tell you. That we got a little time. Yeah. The heat's getting to me now. It's toasty. Yeah, it's hot. We'll make, we'll make quick work of this one. He is, this gator is so Parker, tangled up Parker, in these do you lines. Want to take this? You want me to do the shot or what? So Parker right here is getting the bang stick out. ready. You're good. <laughs> Once that gator head comes up, he's going to try to bang stick it. You guys go right behind, right, I'm live. right behind the eyes. Just don't look straight down at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bone fragments. So which one do you think his head is? I think his head is straight down. Yep. Right, you're wrapped. Right, this is going to be tough. Yeah. yeah. Right, if he wants to show himself, then be ready. I'm going to come up in between you guys. You need to pull your rod up higher because if he wraps, you're going to break it. Yeah. Don't, don't leave the rod to it so close, that's all. Um, Kelly, slight yeah. reverse. Backwards with it. Ooh, buddy. That's right there. <laughs> Go reverse again. Yep. Oh, God. This one wants to wrap himself a lot. Yep. Can you get another hook at the front of him? That's what we're going to have to do if we can't get ahead. If you let the tail down, I think the head comes up. Uh, well, we don't have anything hooked in the head. That's the problem. When I um, let the tail down, all of our lines are wrapped in the tail. You have another hook. We do. We'll do it you in a second. You need to bite it off. I'm going to get here in a second. I know. I'm trying to turn. Mm. Oh. <laughs> this is a absolute 
Crazy shit. Yeah, this is nuts. This is not normally how it goes, folks. Yeah, but that's gator hunting. Now we're gonna play tickle the dragon. Yeah. All right, let me get another hook in. Yeah. You want me to hand? You want to hand me that? I think I can just cleat it. Kyle was going to try to put another hook in his head or in the upper part of the body to try to bring that head up so we can bang stick him. Right now this is not very ideal because his tail's up out of the water and his head's straight down. Alright, all right, talking to you. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, uh, there we go. Yeah, we're in positive line. Good lord. That rod bend though. Come on, right there. Boom. Step around. Is it a dud? No. Oh. <sighs> Maybe it is. Crap. What's up with that? I've never had a dud in my life. Hey, it can't be easy. Or the other round. In here? Oh. You can need another one? case for after. All right. Ready? Hold on, hold on. All right, money. Woo! All right. Get him? One, that's one. Awesome. Here we load. It is hotter. It is. I got one. You got one, okay. They're all different, I'm telling you. That looked like uh, you have to edit out those two duds. You have to edit out quite a bit. That was a <laughs> the power of editing. Listen, Ooh, hey, yeah, I we're think look like I think this is officially our gator, though. It's Unless he somehow sinks to the it's, bottom, it's, it's officially one. <laughs> I think <laughs> we got it. Do one more for good luck, good measures. If Parker can get him up, he doesn't want to roll. Um, we might need he rolls perfect right there. Oh. oh, come on, get him up. Just oh. be mindful, Kelly. Yep, you're good. Oh, it's too low. All right, let me, um, can you hand me that gaff, Kelly? Yes. Yeah, it's a little warm. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. All right, whenever you're ready, brother. Well, at least it's not all good. I'm going to go over here. <laughs> all right, ready? Yep. Go ahead, Parker, drop it. Ready? Three, two, one. That's good night. Good night, Good, good job. Thanks for playing. Awesome. One hand on gaff, one hand on rod, one hand on... I was going to say, you want me to take this one? So now we have to roll this alligator into the boat. We got six hands on it. Yep. One, two, three. Watch out, Kelly. Yep. Gonna come He's going to come easy to roll for us. Yeah. Oh, oh, come, come on, girl. There he is. Now he's officially, whoo! Awesome job, guys. Good job. Good job. So we're getting some air conditioning blowing on the boat, but we have to put the tag in this alligator. Your tag, do not let it go. Don't let it fly away or get in the water. We're gonna cut a little hole in the tail there and just stick it right in. Yes. You wanna do the honors? Good. All right. So like, you take the... Supposed to be three scoots. These are tiny, so we go like with one of these, one, two, and three. We'll go right here in between this guy. Mm -hmm. Just like that. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go before, before, before I stab myself, make sure yep. yeah, it's just ahead. like that. Go ahead, go ahead. Here. Oh, we didn't like that. I'll let yeah, you click it. We'll snap those two together. Woo! And we are tagged. Yeah. First one, baby. I love it. Awesome. Good job. So like they said, this is going to be an un unofficial measurement here. He's in the boat. He's kind of crooked. His tail's a little bit squinched in the side of the boat here. But we're going to see how big this gator really is. Like this? Yep. Just lay it nice and flat right. along the back scoots here. Da -da -da -da. Pull, pull in the center and tell you which one. Unofficial at ten and a half. Unofficial ten and a half feet long. Um, and six. Ever since she was a little girl, <laughs> standing to her daddy's knee. 
When we get back to the processor, we're gonna do an official measurement where the gator is perfectly flat laid out. And I'm gonna take you guys there to the processing unit and we're gonna go from there. Right now we are going to scout and look for another gator. Um, if we see one, we're probably gonna catch it. If not, then we can just come back out here before November 1st and catch another one because we have two tags. So here's where it gets interesting. We have to transfer this 10 and a half foot alligator to the back of my truck. Y'all are about to watch this go down. All right. Head first. Say, just hand me the uh, hand me the head first. Perfect. Don't we want to tell first? Or? <laughs> yeah, down the back two. leg. Three. Watch Kelly, get your leg in one way or the other. Yep. So you don't get knocked off. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Actually, that went a lot more smoothly than I thought. All right, so the gator is in the back of my truck right now. We drove about 30 minutes from Clewiston to, I think this is Lakeport, and we're at the Hungry Gator Shop, and we're going to sell our alligator and then also buy about five pounds of meat off of them. Um, I don't... We don't really want the whole gator, so we're just gonna sell it. Um, we're meeting up with Levi here, and he's gonna help us uh, take this gator out of the truck and put it into his truck, pretty much, or their facility here. I've never been here before, so we're about to find out. We're also going to get the skull mounted, um, or I should say Euro mounted, which is just like a really nice white skull, because this is my dad's first alligator, and it's gonna be cool. Where should I go? I think I'm just gonna go this way. Probably over there by the airboat. I thought I said there was a truck, unless this is the truck. Oh, okay. this must be Levi right here. official measurement of this alligator. We kind of did a rough measurement on the boat, but we want to lay him out flat just to get that precise measurement. That right there is alligator tenders. Alligator chicken tenders, technically. So I went ahead and took the chunk of meat, I sliced it up, and then I beat it out, and then cut them into tenders and soaked them in buttermilk just to take out any kind of gamey taste. And I soaked it for about five hours, but you can also do it overnight as well. I have an egg wash with buttermilk and this spicy brown mustard mixture here. And then this is just flour with some Cajun seasoning and garlic and parsley. So we are going to fry this alligator meat. Um, that is a very popular way to make alligator meat is to fry it. When you go to restaurants and stuff, they have alligator bites. It's all fried. And if you guys know me, you know I'm not a huge fried food person, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do it. This egg wash is super thick. So we're putting it in the flour in the egg wash and then back in the flour and then we're gonna let it dry on paper towel and we're gonna do that to all of our oops all of our gator meat here I have some potatoes and onions in the oven along with some asparagus right now we're gonna have a good old Florida alligator dinner 
I am at my Oma's house right now. My Oma's right here behind me. Oma. And <laughs> say hello to all Hi. your fans. And her boyfriend Richard over here. Richard, have you ever had alligator meat? Yes. Yeah? Do you like it? Yeah. Not yeah. bad. Tastes like chicken. It does taste like chicken. Look at that. It's almost like a dough consistency. You're gonna have to rinse off your fingers probably every three pieces. My dad right now is helping me film behind the camera. I got the cast iron skillet with the oil. It's getting hot, I can hear it sizzling. I'm probably gonna go turn that down so I can go ahead and finish battering all these pieces. Dad, I have a question for you. What do you have? <laughs> what was your favorite part about the alligator hunt? Like something maybe that surprised you or you didn't maybe know before? No, I've been here long enough to have seen a lot of gators, but the best part was you see, you know, we saw a lot of gators. There's a gator, there's a gator. And also when you see the big ones. And when we saw that 10 footer plus, it was like, then it gets a little, it gets your attention. Yeah, the action starts like, all right, we're gotta get on them before yes. it goes down. Yeah. It gets serious. All right, I gotta rinse my fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, battering up all this gator and we'll see you guys over at the frying pan. That perfect sizzle. We actually have a lot more gator meat than I thought. This gator piece was probably about this big. And it's either the cheek of the alligator or the base of the tail. I forget which one it is, but those are two prime cuts on alligator. I like to kind of move them around just a hair so they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. I'm excited. It's been, it's been a long time since I've eaten alligator meat. Even if I do eat it, you know, it's usually in them little fried alligator bites at the grocery store or at the grocery store at a restaurant for an appetizer. So I'm excited for this. When I fry foods, I like to feed it out really thin. That way the batter doesn't get like overcooked before the meat does, if that makes sense. dinner is officially served. We got some potatoes. I went ahead and scored the potatoes. That's the grandfather clock that's going off in the background. We got some asparagus and fried alligator meat. All right, y'all dig in. I would recommend cutting the meat into bite-sized pieces because alligator tends to be a little bit on the chewy side. Yeah, let me get their steak knives. You want a steak knife? Yeah. Tastes like chicken. Yeah, close to it. They look different. Cross between fish and chicken. Fish? I got chewy, chewy fish and chicken. I'm gonna try these potatoes though. Probably tastes like alligator. Yeah, right. Mmm. That's super hot. Richard, did you did you taste the alligator meat yet? Yeah. Very good, very Thank good. You. Finley, you want some alligator? Oh. Later. <laughs> yeah, I used a good old Louisiana Cajun seasoning for the alligator meat. Just because I feel like alligator and Louisiana just like go together, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Finley, excuse me. Sorry, Finley's a little spoiled, as you can tell. My lens is dirty, there we go. All right, you guys, we're gonna sit down and enjoy this meal. Um, I am going to Oklahoma in a few days, so stay tuned for that video. I'm not gonna tell you guys what I'm doing there, but I have been wanting to catch this fish for a very long time, and I'm finally going and doing it. So stay tuned for that video as well. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, uh, leave a positive comment below. 
My compliments to the hunter and the chef. Thank Hunters. You. Good job. Thank you. All right, you guys, I will see you guys in the next video. And I have been reading all the comments on the videos the past few days. I will touch base with that subject sooner or later, just not right this minute. All right, you guys, see you on the next one. See ya.